Well, hello everybody. This is Sister's Intuition. I'm coming to you with the sign of Virgo. Okay, um, this will be mid-month, January to the end of January 2022. I ask you to remember that these messages are general. They're not going to resonate with everybody. If they resonate, great. If it doesn't, I'm sorry it's not your message. Like I said, check your other placements. Um, and if not, you know, uh, check with these other tarot readers. We have a lot of... Uh, very, very, very talented um, tarot card readings here on YouTube, okay? For that, if you don't mind, if you could please like, give me a big fat thumbs up and share these videos, I would surely appreciate it. I'm trying to get the word around here. Uh, more videos up. You can also follow me on Facebook, uh, Shelly Evans. You'll see my picture with tarot card readings. Tarot card readings. Tarot cards, a picture of tarot cards in the background, okay? You follow me on Facebook and you'll get notified. I go live daily over there. You can also follow me on TikTok, uh, Sisters Intuition as well. I'm going to start posting some more videos over there as well as soon as I get done over here. Uh, so, yeah, I'd really, really appreciate y'all's support, okay? All right, here we go. Spirit, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, okay. Mid-January to the end of January 2022. Virgo, please. Thank you. And, ooh, intentions. So we got to be careful of people's intentions, okay? That is the main thing, okay? Now, um... You know, we're not in this illusion anymore, a lot of us. You know, we've woke up. You know, somebody's had us out here in the dry, in the dry desert, you know, not giving a shit, okay? Putting us in this illusion, you know, very dry. You know, us giving all of our emotions and giving and giving and giving, you know, and not getting shit back. So, you know, it's a mirage, just some fake-ass shit, Spirit says. You know, the gentle gardener. So, you know, there, this is about creation, but this come out in reverse, okay? So... <clears throat> I think what it's saying is that don't get caught up by the illusions of people, places, things. Uh, you know, normally when this card is uh, facing up, it means that you and their creator, God, or your higher source, whoever you believe in a higher power, raw, you know, angels, ancestors, doesn't really matter, spirit, source, divine. Um, you you know, them being the creator and you being the co-creator of what you're manifesting, okay? But this was in reverse, which is telling me somebody could have some bad intentions, okay? Um, yeah, they're not sitting here. They're not wanting to create what spirit is wanting them to create is what it's telling me. You know, I think they're trying to, they got like a, maybe a God complex of where they want to run shit. Uh, this is you or whoever I'm talking to or my flip the, you know, flip the shoes, but that's what I'm seeing here. So somebody could have some bad intentions. This could be somebody from the past because the ghost land is here, but this is in reverse also when it come out. So this is telling me that, um. Uh, Somebody's not letting go of the past here, you know, they're, they're not healed, they're not letting go of the past, you know, people need to understand the past is the past, there's nothing we can do about it, learn a lesson, you know, chalk it off, forgive, learn, and keep it moving, and heal, but some people are not letting go of the past, unfortunately, they're hanging on to it, you know, we're, we need to be focusing on the now. And the going forward, okay? Not about the past. On the bottom is movement. There is positive movement going forward, but people, you need to be open to spirit, okay? Spirit is balancing shit out, okay? Uh, could be balancing some stuff out for a Leo. Somebody's about to hit rock bottom. That's the message. Somebody's about to lose all their shit. You know, the metamorphosis is behind it. You know, somebody uh, is trying to create something beautiful, something new, Okay? But somebody's going to hit the rock bottom. Ten is about endings. They could be some endings that happened. Uh, Eleven is about normally about the wishes, but the balancing that spirit is balancing some shit out, right? So, um, mm, but I don't know about these intentions here. This could be some karma, uh, just flat up. You know, spirit's balancing some shit out with these cards being reversed and people having bad intentions. Somebody, spirit could be balancing this shit out, okay? That way stuff can get to moving in a positive way. This is strength, the Leo card. Uh, you know, this is about having strength. Um, this is about having positive intentions, you know, giving your positive intentions to spirit. This is about healing the past, you know, learn. 
your lesson, forgive, lesson, talk it off as a lesson and a blessing and, and keep it moving. You know, you know, starting to create with spirit, whatever it is you want to create with spirit, but somebody is not that. They think they're creating shit all on their own. Spirit is saying there's positive movement going forward, but you need to be open to spirit, okay? But spirit is bouncing out shit. Somebody could be losing everything, rock bottom, 10 endings. But uh, the only thing you can do when everything, you know, you, or this could be bad energy or good energy. I'm going to flip this. If somebody's putting bad intentions out on somebody, for instance, okay? Spirit's bouncing that shit out and somebody's going to start losing shit, okay? That's karma. Now, if you have positive intentions and, you know, you're healing from the past and, you know, you're being open to spirit and having strength to keep on holding on and you're starting to create something new and, and you know, and you're working with God's spirit, your higher source, you know, your life is going to start to bounce out and then you're going to have some positive movement, okay? But if you're at the 10, if there's been some endings and if you have been at rock bottom, this is about, you can't go no further down than rock bottom. You know what I mean? Thank you. Um, so, yeah, so you cannot go no further down the rock bottom. You just got to pick yourself up and, you know, positive movement forward, okay? So, we'll see where we go with this. But below that rock bottom, after you get past the rock bottom, you know, and you get out of this illusion and you start creating, there's going to be a lot of beautiful shit being born for somebody here, okay? All right. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, mid-January, end of January, 2022, Virgo. Thank you. Parenting and children. So there could be some shit going on. Parenting and children here. This is about financial flow. So, and this is about honoring your true feelings. So, uh, there could be some finances coming in for uh, some of you. You know, so if you felt like something was blocking it before, maybe it's going to open up. You know, but as Spirit is saying, you need to honor your true feelings and your emotions. Because this water always reminds me of emotions. There could be a lot of emotions running high right now. It could be around parents, it could be around children, it could be in a relationship. But spirits telling you to get outside and get grounded. Okay? Get grounded in nature. Alright, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, thank you, spirit. Oh shit. They keep hitting the floor. <laughs> Alright, very soon hit the floor. So very soon, somebody's got to make a decision. You got to clearly decide what it is you want. Spirit is saying it is safe for you to love. You know, you need to open your heart up to give and receive the highest energy of all. What else for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Thank you. Y'all got to hit the floor. Shit. All right, let's see. Somebody wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Somebody wants to have a conversation to lay everything out on the table. And you could be getting to know somebody new. You know, you could be talking, you know, revealing yourselves, you know, getting to know each other. So that's good. Sorry, I had to take a drink. All right, Virgo. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Oh, shit, the whole deck just come out. Ah, thank you, spirit. Okay, what's on the bottom? Sixth house. So somebody, this is about what you do routinely, about your job, your responsibility, your skills, your training, your employment. So this has got to go around this, okay? We have somebody that's got split personality, okay? They one way around one set of people, and then when they get around somebody else, they're a totally different person. Second house, everything this person cl may claim in this situation is theirs, their money, their possessions, their own self-worth. Uh, you can get them with somebody that's very insecure, okay? Uh, they could claim they got money, they could claim they got possessions, but spirits letting you know they ain't got shit, okay? For the clout. So somebody is with somebody for the fame, for the money, for the materialistic shit, for the drive, you know, for the leg up on somebody, okay? Somebody's being very irresponsible. They got a lack of accountability. They don't own up to their shit. You know, very immature energy and they're irresponsible. Somebody's in a mental prison right now. Somebody's stuck. Very, having a lot of mental anguish going on right now. They could be very, very stuck, but, excuse me, spirit saying that's because you're setting in those self-limiting beliefs, believing that you're unable to do something. There is evidence here. Some kind of evidence is coming out. This is a role model. Okay, this person is being an inspiration to a lot of people, having positive recognition from a lot of people as well. Okay, this person is a moocher, they are a user, they want to use somebody for what they can get. Um, money, materialistic, whatever be the case, somebody is nosy as fuck. Somebody's all up in somebody's business trying to figure out what they're doing, when they go shit, how many times they wipe their ass, etc. etc. Some nosy bitches, okay. 
Now, this eighth house, somebody's wanting power. The eighth house is about power. It's about materialistic drive. It's about, you know, it's all about power, okay? But this situation involves cycles, death, and rebirths. Someone's attitude towards personal growth. Somebody didn't want to change. You know, they want to be the same old person with the same old fucking energy over and over and over again. They're not changing, okay? So, somebody's walked away. They're done. Walking away. All right? So, yeah, and that damn shit right here where somebody, they're routinely shit. Somebody could be keeping tabs on somebody here. I'm going to keep these two cards here, and we'll get to that in a minute when we get to the tarot cards, okay? All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. There could be an official person coming to do something with a child. So somebody could be having, I don't know, official person. This could be law enforcement. It could be government. Uh, it could be social services. Somebody is going to have something going on with a child. Official person, okay? Why is this official person? Got a hair there. Why is this the first official person? And, and but this is because of the pathway they chose. They chose a pathway here, okay? Okay, why is the uh, child here? And the official person for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody's going to be in poverty, Spirit says. Poverty. I'm going to be broke. Lovers. Could be Gemini. Okay. Coughing. There's an ending here. So, there could be an interrelationship. There could be going somebody going through court. Could be a divorce. Could be children involved. Somebody could be losing some money here. Okay. Yeah, somebody's going to lose some money here. Okay, what else? Why is this coffin here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Thank you, Spirit. The main female. This shit is over, Spirit says. Somebody is choosing a different pathway. Once again, what else? What else do we need to know? Poverty. What's about poverty? No, what, tell me about this courthouse. Tell me about the courthouse and poverty, Spirit, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, poverty, and the courthouse. What do we need to know? Thank you. Damn, everything come out. Expectations. Somebody's expecting this shit right now, okay? Somebody's sitting in despair. Somebody could have went on a trip, took a journey here. Somebody's sitting back in despair right now, Spirit says. Okay, there's somebody here that has got an occupation going on that's going to get them some unexpected money, and they're going to be held in high honor, Spirit says. And somebody's sitting back expecting this. They're, they're seeing it, okay? That's what it is. All right. There is something going on with the court systems, though. All right. Okay. All right, Spirit's. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to the end of January 2022. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to end of January 2022. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to end of January 2022. Virgo, let's see what we got here. All right, Spirit Virgo, we need to know Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid-January to the end of January. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Oh, we had the King of Wands and the High Priest. Okay. Somebody's at a crossroads here. And this is about somebody's belief systems. Could be a Taurus involved. Mm, I'm going to keep digging at that in a minute. But this is King of Wands and the High Priestess, Pisces. Uh, somebody's a leader here. This is the entrepreneur. Um, high priest, this might be very intuitive, could be a psychic, could be a leader, could be a spiritual leader. But uh, a king of wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and somebody's an entrepreneur. They're in a business, you know. Um, yeah, a leader. You know, somebody tells the truth, they're being held in high regards, okay. The high priest is very in intuitive, could be a psychic, you know. Um, this is about somebody's spirituality as well and about uh, secrets, you know. Mmm, damn, okay. Somebody has been manipulating some energy. The emperor in reverse is somebody that's abuse of power. Somebody is abusing their power because that flew out in reverse. But that's telling me nobody has protection here. Somebody is not protected here because they're abusing their power. Somebody's wanting to hold on and control somebody, but they're not able to because that's in the reverse. This could be about holding on to somebody because of stability too because the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to finances, holding on to stability. Somebody's no longer able to do that. Somebody's abundance, you know, if somebody wasn't able to rely on somebody. This right here is uh, Leo. We have Aries here too. But this person is not reliable. You know, their abundances could be, yeah, some of their money could be getting gone here too. But somebody 
is um, the sun is here. So something is being enlightened here. Something is being seen for what it is, okay? This is person is their abundance is going to shit and nobody can rely on them. Somebody's at a crossroads. You know, what is your plans? What is somebody planning to do? What's influencing the plans? Somebody is, you know, wanting to, been doing some work here. This is work. And this right here could be with a Taurus. Somebody could have wanted to work a uh, marriage out with a Taurus could be. Because we do have Taurus here. You know, put in some effort. Uh, could be a marriage. Somebody could have been wanting to work on a marriage. You know, um... But the thing of it is, you know, it was, you know, trying to battle it out, trying to stick it out with somebody. Um, there could be kids involved because that's the daddy the first, you know, because of stability. They want a stable home, you know. But the problem with that is, is, um, you know, the Seven of Swords. Hang on just a second, please. I'm sorry. That's my aunt. I have a cousin that's in the hospital. I'm going to text her until I call her in a minute. Tell her I'm doing a video. Text Patricia. Tell her I'm doing a video, and I'll call her back in a minute. But the Seven of Swords. Somebody's got some secrets here. You know, there's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes, a lot of secrets. Somebody could be put up as an option, okay? Somebody could have had some um, choices here, okay? Um, yeah, but the Seven of Swords is somebody that is um, doing shit behind the back. You know, very secretive, doing shit that's hidden. You know, dishonoring people, lying, talking shit. Um, somebody is going to get some karma here. Could be a Libra involved. They're aware of what they've done, okay? But somebody is working on uh, something and uh, could be a, a job, but this is a new start. Ace of Pentacles with a Six of uh, six of uh, Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody's going to get a victory. Somebody's going to get recognized. Could be publicly. Could be through social media. Um, whatever be the case, but the Ace of Pentacles is here. You know, there's a new start with somebody that's that they can trust, you know, that's practical. Tell me about this Hierophant uh, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. Somebody made a choice. Somebody made a choice. It could be a third party, three of swords. Somebody made a choice because this year is a stalemate. You know, uh, somebody's taking a leap of faith in a new direction, Spirit says, because the tower is hit. This person... It's very destructive or there's going to be some um, real realizations of something or there's really going to be some destruction. Tower's destruction. Shit's going to come in. It's going to be very, very destructive, okay? Um, but somebody may be realizing that this person is destructive, the person from the past Six of Cups. So they might be put into the shit for the past because this person might have walked away. Thinking the grass was greener on the other side and it could be a twin flame, okay? Somebody wanted to put them in conflict. They could have been arguments, could be fights, um... You know, want to gaslight them, you know, make somebody feel very insecure. Um, you know, um, yeah, you know, gaslight, making somebody feel like everything's their damn fault, you know, putting them in competition, you know. And somebody wants to defeat somebody at all costs. Somebody wants to win at all costs. But this could be a third party. Like I said, three of swords. But we have this right here just flipped over reverse. Queen of Cups in reverse. We got a woman that's very jealous. Very jealous. Um, mm hmm. Very, her, I don't like her energy. I don't like her energy. Um, yeah, she ha doesn't have anything good for anybody. That's the damn fact. Let me see what this evidence and role model is. What is this evidence and role model for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirits? Evidence. What is this evidence and role model for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for Virgo? Hmm. What's this role model and evidence? See the psychic and the leaders on the bottom again. Somebody's got a lot of anxiety and a lot of fucking fear right now. Okay? This this person is very intuitive. Okay? This is the role model. This is the leader. The role model... I know why this is on Okay, so the role model is the leader. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Male or female, just take the energy. There could be a Pisces involved here. But this is an intuition. This is intuitive. This could be a um, spiritual teacher of some kind. Uh, very high ranking. High honor. Okay? Somebody is cutting somebody out because they could be with a Capricorn. Uh, the devil is here. Somebody's getting cut out. Somebody's being very clear and very direct. They're tired of it, okay? But somebody's got a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear because it's devil. So there could be some evidence here. Somebody teaming up and working together, planning some shit. There's evidence that flew out. Okay, why is this Nine of Swords and the devil here for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you, Spirit. This wants to come out as well. Seven of Pentacles. Somebody's been working on somebody. And... <laughs> Yeah, death cards coming out. So, I'm going to tell you right now, death cards here. This shit is ending. It's time to change. 
Okay, somebody's moving forward. They want to go to Tacoma Water. They're going to invest their time. They're cutting somebody out here. Uh, they want to invest their time on something for the long term. They want a commitment. They don't want no bullshit. They want something. When they put their time in, they're going to see come some kind of fucking results. And they know that the long term is still going to be there. Okay, somebody said chose not to give up on herself and believe in herself. And somebody has unfortunately missed an opportunity and it makes them sad. So somebody's moving forward. Okay, they're, they're done with this dumb shit. Tell me more... Uh, what do we need to know in particular about this devil and the nine of swords for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Thank you, Spirit. Somebody is emotionally manipulative. Could be an Aquarius, okay? But I'm telling you right now, this is a Leo here, Aquarius. Somebody is emotionally manipulating somebody, lying to them, deceiving them. Somebody is keeping their faith and their strength, Leo. But this could be some kind of star. So this could be somebody that's being recognized, um... Yeah, somebody's very confused and powerless. They're not able to do anything right now. And that's the reason why they got a lot of anxiety and fear because they're getting clear. Somebody's got the clarity that somebody, the death card is in reverse. So this shit is not over with yet. The lovers is here. Could be two people, but somebody is not balanced out. No equal give and take. They're seeing that shit. They're seeing the clarity. They're seeing shit what it is, and they're seeing that they're not stable. Okay, I don't know what side this flew out on, so I'm going to shuffle it again, but... Um, I don't know which way up or right. Where the fuck my cards go right there? Okay, tell me about the lovers, please, for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Justice. Could be a Libra here. Five of Cups. Somebody's in a lot of loss and regret. You know, somebody, they're regretful that they betrayed somebody. Here's Sagittarius. This is, somebody's balancing out their life. They're getting some kind of harmony, some kind of peace. Um, the Empress. This is somebody that's an Empress. This is Libra. You know, somebody, uh, this is the Empress, though, somebody is taking care of themselves. You know, put them up in, as an option. This uh, Empress, that was wishful thinking. You know, they're not going to deal with that shit. They're not going to be nobody's option, okay? So somebody's getting left for that. Now somebody's in a lot of loss, a lot of regrets uh, that they uh, betrayed this person because this person is very dependable. They're very nurturing. They handle their business. They handle their shit. And somebody's going to get justice. Okay, somebody's going to get some good karma and bad karma. Somebody's going to get some public recognition, get some rewards. They're going to get recognized. So this is a role model. So this is the justice for this role model, okay, uh, for this spiritual teacher. That's what I got. Uh, so what is the advice for Virgo spirit? Is the advice for Virgo? Any advice? Mm, three of swords and three of pentacles. Somebody needs to quit working <laughs> and teaming up against somebody because the will of fortune is in reverse. Somebody's about to get some bad karma. This woman here, this shit is not over. This woman is very mean. She's very judgmental. And the, this, this, this shit is not over with yet. Okay? Somebody, this teaming up and shit needs to stop and planning against somebody. The three of swords to betray somebody because somebody's getting bad karma. Bad karma's here. They're going to be burdened and struggling. Somebody could have been out celebrating and shit, but the truth is out, and here comes the towers. Destruction is fishing to hit. Karma's fishing to hit somebody. I don't know who that's for, but you do. You know where you lie in that, okay? Let's see any angel messages. Angel messages. Let me do this for this cut out because it cuts out after so long. All right, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please, Spirit. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, thank you. On the bottom, success. Choose a new direction. Somebody needs to choose a new path. It's unlikely that the shit will work, so somebody needs to go on a new path. Somebody's being very assertive. They're standing their ground. They're not sugarcoating it. They're speaking exactly what their needs are, and they're not bullshitting, and they're saying the situation will improve, okay? All right, thank you, each and every one of you. I hope this message has helped you. Please, please, please give me a big thumbs up, like, share me. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll catch y'all next time. Till then, Sisters Intuition, peace, love, and light. Bye, y'all.